Here are the starters for race six. Number one sports talk is owned by Penske Stables of Tim Penske of Plato, Minnesota, trained and driven by Brian Penske. Number two, Fox Valley Lady Doc, owned by AB Stables Limited, trained by Vince Affronti. Andy Miller is in the bike. This is an elimination for two-year-old pacing fillies in the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes, win, play, show, and exact a wagering. Number three, Fox Valley Muffin, owned by Marty Engel of Buffalo Grove, Rucker Stable Incorporated of Beecher, trained by Katrina Rucker, Mike Osting is up. Number four, Broadway Bet, owned by Lloyd Dalton and Stanley Tarvitas of Burbank, Illinois, trained by Lloyd Dalton out of Nancy, Kentucky. Ken Holliday of Ohio is the driver. Number five, Splanky, is owned by Don Trilling of Northbrook and Howard Zimmerman of Wilmette, trained by Gary Skurlock of Mantino, Sam Widger in the bike. Number six, Yes, Virginia, Yes, owned by Carl and Karen Hipsher of Constantine, Michigan, trained by Carl Hipsher, Tony Morgan, the driver. And number seven, She's All Sporty, owned by Bart Seals of Altamont and Sean Nessa of DuCoin, trained by John Nessa of Altamont. Dave McGee is up. Post time in five minutes for race six. Here they come. Sports talk is off stride. The rest are off and pacing. Splanky grabs the racetrack. Fox Valley Muffin is there between horses. Fox Valley Lady Doc kicks in down toward the inside. And there goes Fox Valley Lady Doc moving up toward the rail to get the lead. Fox Valley Muffin goes second. Splanky is parked out third around that first turn. Racing toward the quarter mile mark. They are followed by Broadway Bet, who's fourth against the rail. A gap of three more lengths to Yes, Virginia Yes, who's trying to close that margin. She's all sporty, is behind her. Racing six lengths off the lead, 28 seconds for the opening quarter, and up front, there goes Splanky. Splanky makes the lead by a length. Fox Valley Lady Doc is second. Fox Valley Muffin third. Here comes Broadway Bet, moving up fourth, now third, and here comes Fox Valley Lady Doc. They're three wide, battling the lead before the half-mile mark. Broadway Bet in the center of the track, had to go three wide, gets the lead now, as Fox Valley Lady Doc is second and settles on the rail behind her. Nearly three more lengths back to Splanky in third. Then Yes, Virginia, Yes on the outside in fourth. The half in 56 and three-fifth seconds. Fox Valley Muffin finds herself in fifth position. She's All Sporty is sixth on the outside, racing six lengths off the lead. And Sports Talk is last to her inside. Midway on the final turn, Broadway Bet on the lead by some two lengths followed by Fox Valley Lady Doc in second by a length and a half. Yes, Virginia, yes, is racing in third. Splanky is fourth. Fox Valley Muffin is fifth. 124 and fourth, the three quarters. Turning for home, She's All Sporty is still next to last, eight lengths off the lead. Broadway Bet is on the lead by a length and a half with an eighth of a mile to go. Now by two lengths, over Fox Valley Lady Doc. Yes, Virginia, yes, She's All Sporty is way wide, still six lengths from the front. Here comes Fox Valley Lady Doc on the outside. Fox Valley Lady Doc, Tackling Broadway bet. Fox Valley Lady Doc gets up to win it by a length. Broadway bet was second. It was Fox Valley Muffin getting up for third in 153 and four fifths. In the sixth race, number two, Fox Valley Lady Doc finished first into the winner's circle, giving driver Andy Miller his second winner of the day. Here is Fox Valley Lady Doc, number two. Vince Affronti trains Andy Miller, the winning driver. It's official, 2436, the official result. Fox Valley Lady Doc is owned now by AB Stables Limited. Vince Affronti trains. 153 and 4 is a new lifetime record for this Sportsmaster filly bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. And they will offer a Sportsmaster full sister to this filly as hip number 111 in Sunday's sale at Sherman. The 2 4 exact of $291.20. Andy Miller, the winning driver. More in a moment. 